player of the year. How would you react to something like that? Uh, I got to react pretty favorably, really, because Nolan was like player of the year. How would you react to something like that? Uh, I got to react pretty favorably, really, because Nolan was like 14 and 12, I think, when he did have the operation. And so he really didn't have that dismal of a year. I mean, it wasn't good for Nolan Ryan because he didn't complete it, but it was good in a sense. And I think Doc, like, only won five or six games the year before. So the year that Doc had, I think he deserved the award. It was, it was just, in my opinion. Now, um, do you kind of, uh, I don't know how I should say this, do you kind of feel uncomfortable the way some of the players like Mickey Rivers or Ed Figueroa have gone away from the Angels? Uh, very good players, but not stars in their own right, and then have blossomed into stars uh, this year in New York, say? Well, I take the, uh, the setting has a lot to do with it, like New York Stadium and the fact that they've got an awful lot of talent on that ball club. And you gotta, you got to understand that Mickey Rivers and, Bo and Ed Figueroa both had good years for the California Angels, so they just didn't happen overnight. You could see that they had potential. And what hurt is, and what makes the trade look so bad, of course, we all know we got Bobby Bonds in return for those two players, is that Bobby was hurt and didn't really get a chance to produce, but Bobby's got an awful lot of talent. And I think with him, and he stated this himself, that we could have finished in third place. And I really believe that. But Bobby, of course, had that injury to his hand, and I hopefully next year he'll be able to come back strong and make people, you know, not make the trade so one-sided as it seems right now. Um, if you were to be traded to Cincinnati, as we were talking earlier, um, would you then, do you think, give up more runs? Would your ERA go up? Uh, that's interesting. I don't know if I'd really want to go to Cincinnati because they're getting old. <laughs> you know, Rose and Morgan, by the time I got there, they'd probably be gone, you know, with my luck, and they'd have a weak-hitting team again. But I, I see what you're getting at. I think that the fact that I have been playing with the California Angels who don't hit a lot. I've now had to give up less runs if I want to make good. You know, if I want to win, I've got to go out there and give up like one or two runs a ball game because if I give up more, I stand no chance of winning. If I give up three or four, very seldom do I come out ahead. So it's made me concentrate more. It's made me a better pitcher, and for that I'm grateful. And I just hope now in the next couple of years we do get some hitting so I can put all that I learned you know, into use and maybe win 20, 25 ball games. Uh, we have a film of you pitching. Uh, can we see that now? Let's sit down the monitor. And uh, here it's just a slow motion delivery. What do you consider the, the most important part of your delivery as a pitcher? Well, as you can see from that picture right there, the legs and the drive that I get from pushing off the mound, here it comes right here. The um, the rotating of the hips right there and then the drive off that back leg is what gives me my speed and what and my ability to get the ball over the plate. I'd attribute it to the legs. Do you work a lot in building your muscles up and your legs jogging a lot in the off season? Well, not so much really, Craig, because as a kid I used to, you know, I had this endless energy and so I used to run and run and run. So my legs are pretty well developed right now and just to keep them stronger, keep them toned, I just, uh, I do run on the beach. Here you have another pitch. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's really good. Uh, <laughs> that's Lou Pinella getting hit in the head. The, the ground was wet, and the grass was slippery, and the ball was wet, and I kind of lost uh, control of it and <laughs> ended up hitting him in the head. But thank goodness he was OK. So that wasn't really a brush back pitch? Right? Well, it probably was, but uh, Lou just didn't get out of the way. All right, now, um, you recognize Lou pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, do you remember a lot of the beans, a lot of the hit batters that stick in your mind? Nolan Ryan said it sticks in his mind. Well, it sticks in my mind until they get up and walk to first base, Craig. Then I realize that, oh, wow, that, hmm. Yeah, that wasn't really a brush back. That, that had to be a wet ball, Craig. That ball was right at his head, and that's not like me, but there's only a few that have gotten hit in the head. Uh, I hit, I think it was Charlie Moore, and obviously I couldn't remember this, but I hit Lou in the head, and um, who else was there? I think there was a catcher from Detroit. But, you know, it's never intentional, but one thing about the game is you have to pitch inside, and if you're going to pitch inside, I'm human, 
I'm going to make mistakes, and I just hope that the hitter, when he's up there, is going to be looking for my <laughs> mistakes, so when I do make it, he'll be able to get out of the way. Now, when you hit some players, uh, do you have words going to first base? Has that ever happened where you almost really got into a fight? Oh, yeah, you know, but it's an emotional game, baseball, you know, and I'm throwing a ball over 90 miles an hour, and, and I've broken a finger with line drives back through the box, and I had to go through two hours of surgery, so I don't really worry about it that much if I hit somebody, because I know I've got to pitch in, but you know, you get emotional, like I was saying, and, and there's going to be words. It's going to be, you know, a lot of guys have quick fuses, and they're going to they're gonna maybe say something at the spur of the moment that they don't really mean, and maybe I'm going to retaliate with something I don't really mean, but at the time, of course, I do. But there's only been a couple occasions when we've actually, you know, come to fisticuffs. Now, you mentioned that 